one v one, Green Tooth Gorge, Blue Side. It's Comrade Grumpy plays an Eldar Farseer support commander that fights in melee combat, lots of great buffs, some debuffs and control abilities too. And up it gets on the red side, it's Dees Array plays an apothecary support commander that fights in melee combat by default, can get a ranged weapon, begins with a targeted heal and a passive health regeneration aura. Two support commanders then. Farseer, I think a little bit more direct than the apothecary. She can get a heavy melee weapon, she can get a pretty nasty tier 1 weapon, the Doombringer as well. Tactical Marines capping mid, Howling Banshees on the field for Comrade. Agile melee unit with power melee weapons, they will rip up those Tactical Marines if they can get to them. And Deesa Ray needs to try and make sure that doesn't happen, has double scouts. I'm assuming we'll see at least one shotgun scout, I'd get both really. Maybe some purification rights, we will see. But the carry coming up this west side, that's his natural victory point over there. East side, natural for Comrade Grumpy and central VP is contested at the moment. It's red, that's a 2 to 1 cap. The classic build would be double shurikens with the assault marines to try and deal with it and the howling banshees counter initiating the assault marines, tactical marines backing off this cap. They know the howling banshees are coming in 481497. Eldar Farsia begins the game with the fleet ability so she's quite mobile getting around getting those early caps and tying things up also begins of course with guide an awesome support ability boosting the damage and range of the ranged weapons of a squad you can also use it on vehicles as well and alongside a fire prism that is a pretty nasty thing shotguns blasting the banshees back suppressing them Tactical Marines peeling models off from the garrison. It's good play from Deese. 478, 490. Scouts losing a model, but good play there. Force of the Banshees took a model off them. There's a plasma grenade. Ouch! That is pain! Two Tactical Marines with 86 hit points. Good grief. Very, very lucky not to lose two models. Not to lose the entire squad, in fact. If that was a retail. Tactical Marine Squad with less health, 9 something, whatever it is in retail. It would have been gone. 478, 471, 2 to 1 cap for Comrade, and he's going for Rangers. DCRA, I assume, is saving up for Assault Marines here, but he might get some Devastators, which would be a mistake, I think, versus the Rangers, but we'll see. Obviously, he doesn't know that Comrade Grumpy is going for Rangers. You might see them too late but it looks like he is not getting devastators or you'd have them already no sign of any war gear up either no sign of a flamer for these tactical marines who are now healing up at base scout squad here with their vanilla bolters which don't do a lot of damage incidentally they are a decent little skirmishing unit if you get their shotguns or sniper rifles though four five two four six seven he just ate a shot from the rangers and lost the model immediately Sniper unit, long range burst damage can also disrupt and support with some infiltration. Great little unit if you can micro them well. And he's going for a shuriken as well, it's a 1 1 1 build from Comrade. Up against Assault Marines on the way for the SRA. 417467. Range is now getting pressured. That was a kinetic pulse disrupting those scouts, didn't do a whole lot to help them though. Tactical Marines still closing in, and they have a flamer up. Very good versus clumps of infantry, especially in garrisons and cover. And Howling Banshees moving in. Chopping the crap out of those tactical marines, but they do not lose a model. And that was pretty lucky as well. 391467. If you can shotgun blast Banshees on their ass and then flame them up, can really hurt them quite badly. They do have the aspect of strength already, so they get that health buff. And their Exarch gets a fancy Executioner Spirit when she hits the field in Tier 2. Shuriken setting up, covering mid with a Shuriken cannon which will suppress infantry and those assault marines which are jump troops will hard counter that unit but need to be very careful of the banshees they cannot take on banshees one versus one in tier one unless they have apothecary support of course which can even things out especially if they get a jump on them there's a grenade attempt it's a very good one hits the assault marines pretty dead on they might need a heal soon, and there is the heal. 
Dire Avengers need to run away though. That was a very late retreat, but they do get away. Howling Banshee's now in amongst the tactical marines. Assault marines jump the shuriken. Eventually, they were knocked on their ass by the Farseer, I think. Tactical marines stay down that engagement way too long, and they are wiped out. I think the Farseer getting the last hit there. That is painful. Kinetic pulse by the Rangers, but they in turn are wiped out by Scout Melee of all things. Crazy engagement, 382440. Can they get an Assault Marine? don't think they can, no. You can do some very, very nasty things with the Farseer and Howling Banshees using Doom and Guide on retreating units is pretty crazy. No need to there though, the, assault, the Tactical Marine sorry, retreated very late, wiped out, but Rangers also lost. And that's a 30 power unit. DSRA freaking out in the chat. 382, 420 is a 2 to 1 cap. Full power up for both. No, two generators here for DSRA. Has a node as well and is going for more tactical marines. He's replacing his lost tactical marines. Is he going to replace his flamer as well? I assume he wanted to force off Comrade there and then push power. Comrade is three quarters of the way to tier 2 and has a decent amount of resources. Could get a Falcon which would be a pain in the ass for DSRA and think I think he should do. DSRA now goes tier 2, has his second tactical marine squad. Heavy ranged infantry, very versatile and tough. Not quite tough enough to stand up to those howling banshees though. I didn't pay attention to what comrade used guide on, but he might have used it on the howling banshees. Shuriken forcing off the scouts, but they did decap, and DSRA has a double now. 365403. Shotgun scouts, the other scout squad with their default bolters still, and he's gone for a Wraith Lord. Another good choice, and he does have a flamer on his tactical marine, so he might be hesitant to put a missile launcher on him straight away. So, how is he going to deal with this Wraith Lord? He could get a melter bomb, of course, but that's not going to be enough by itself nowhere near. No sign of a sergeant queued up for either squad in tier 2. Look at the Dire Avengers putting his DPS on his tactical marines. Are we going to see a grenade? We might have. I think he was trying to force melee but then saw the Farseer there. Howling Banshees with their Exarch on the way. 90-25 makes them much more dangerous and survivable overall. 325-403 and here is the Wraith Lord Walker Vehicle for Eldar. Very powerful in melee combat. A huge Wraith Sword doing heavy melee splash damage. Can also get a shoulder mounted ranged weapon and begins with that little wrist mounted shuriken catapult which you see there firing. Doesn't do a huge amount of damage but combine it with the shoulder mounted weapon and with it retaining all of its melee prowess it is a fearsome walker I think. Can you even get a self heal in tier 3. Farseer is getting spirit stones. She'll be able to support those Howling Banshees very well with this. A huge area of effect heal. 120 30. 313 402. Spirit stones are up. Howling Banshees have their Exarch. You see her there at the front with that heavy melee spear. Heavy melee damaging all targets well. 313 396. And what is this getting caught here? It's Dire Avengers. Are they paying attention? don't think they are. Sanguine Chainsword is up for the Apothecary. You see him getting self heals on his bolt pistol shots as well as the Chainsword hits. And Purification Rights is up. Scouts have to retreat through a lot of nastiness. Last Cannon getting hits on the Wraith Lord now. There's his response to it then. Last Cannon such hard anti-vehicle. Huge amount of damage per shot. Look at the damage to the Wraith Lord also snaring its movement. Needs to use those Banshees to try and tie up and he's going to try and do that but they are isolated now. Turn on the Tactical Marines in fact. Wraith Lord using the Garrison to block shots but now it's in the firing arc again. That's a full retreat from DSRA and that is the pain that Howling Banshees can cause when they're supported. Ran into almost an entire army there. Get a Spirit Stones heal and they are fine. Farsi is level 2. I think Banshees are level 2 getting jumped, are they? Just caught two of the models with that disruption. 
Assault Marines do not have their sergeants, so they don't have a merciless strike, and they are in huge amounts of trouble. Trying to fight the Howling Banshees there. What is he doing? 308391. Lost all but one model. Now the tactical Marines are getting absolutely owned here. Lose one model, and lucky to only lose one. Howling Banshees retreating out, doing an excellent job, and all the while, his power is being capped for Comrade Grumpy. So now DSRA just has this node for his power income and as you can see here just plus 19 the default plus 10 and the plus 9 from this node per minute. Wraith Lord being repaired by Dire Avengers the repair unit for Eldar none of the commanders can repair. Brother Kerry is going to leave this cap to the scouts now the scouts are going to move ahead try and decap something maybe cap that power I think they should decap this wreck point though. Power is being taken back. Assault Marines now have a sergeant. They can use Merciless Strike and stand up a lot better to those Banshees, especially if they get a Purification Rights Heal in there as well. That's kind of getting shots again. Boom. That is such pain. They just spent about two minutes repairing it. Two shots and all of the damage is on it again. Brother Kerry trying to tie up the Dire Avengers. Shuriken takes the garrison. And that might get flamed up if the tactical marines move. Brother Kerry runs away. 287391. Lots of wreck floated for both players. Comrade. Could get another Wraith Lord soon. This one is in trouble though. Taking big shots from that Laz Cannon. Has been suppressed now. But still taking big shots. 277391. What the heck? It doesn't seem to care that it's suppressed. It's firing at the same rate. That was weird. 271391. Tactical Marines with the Sergeant running right into Howling Banshees. They're going to lose the Sergeant, I think. No, they do lose a model, though. They might lose a the Sergeant. They're still chasing. Apothecary's there. But now he's in huge amounts of trouble. 270391. Just got a lucky special attack and runs away. Great Lord goes down then and all of a sudden Comrade Grumpy looking very thin does have a lot of resources though he could go tier 3 in fact though and I imagine that's the decision he's agonizing over right now does he go tier 3 trying to get to Seer Council or a Fire Prism out nope he's going for some more Dire Avengers 270 378 Salt Marines running away the Farseer now has her Singing Spear a heavy melee weapon can smack on vehicles with it. Blast Cannon now moving to the center. Bortok dropped on the scouts. Here she is, Sub Commander for Eldar. Blast Cannon in huge amounts of trouble. Very, very quick on her feet. Also grants that passive damage reduction aura, which will really help support those Banshees even more as if they need it so far in this game. Banshees have been spectacular so far. Level 3. Chopping up Marines left and right. Tactical Marines now fully reinforced with their Sergeant and that Flamer. Here comes the Apothecary to support them. Altuck jumping in. Healing the Banshees. Also buffs their speed and I think their damage for a short amount of time with that jump. And down goes the Apothecary. Altuck now has her Executioner Spear. And this thing is nasty. 65 DPS almost. Power melee that will be ripping part marines as well. 27309, you saw the spirit stones heal there. Assault marines jumping in. These scouts do have a fragmentation grenade, but I think they've used their energy on a shotgun blast. Now they have the energy to throw it. Is he going to try? Has he thrown it already? Howling Banshee's running away, and there's a full retreat from Conrad, but lots of good pressure there. Meanwhile, capping up the map. Has the 2 to 1. And DSRA needs to come out and recap mid at least. DPs are very close though, and Comrade goes tier 3. I imagine that's where DSRA is going to go when he has the power to do so. 300 rec, 150 power to get to tier 3. And the upgrade takes quite a while as well. Tactical Marines will decap this wreck point. These guys cap 
50% faster than normal, a trait that only Orc Commandos share. Huge benefit that they have. Shuriken caught in all sorts of trouble, dodges the grenade and turns the setup again. Gonna get jumped, and advantages are there, so is the Wartark. Wartark ignores them, no she turns to engage and the Shuriken is gonna wipe here. That is a huge loss for Comrade, a silly silly loss really. And is it even going to get a model off these assault marines? It does. Scouts a bit too late with that shotgun blast. 238281. So much pressure on the SRA, but. And he lost the tactical squad as well, but he's still in this game, very much so. 226281. Tactical marines forcing off Dire Avengers of the Flamer, and they will try and cap this wreck point as well. Scouts also decapping. Comrade, is he going to take back mid or is he going to go full on this tactical mode? He is going to try and take back mid. It's the Wartuck and the Howling Banshee's job to force off these tactical marines and these scouts. 196, 281. There is the Wartuck leap. Banshee's on them. And look at the pain they are causing. Can they wipe them out? Or the Farseer, sorry, is there. And she doesn't. She moves way too slowly, uses fleet. Tries to get the last hit and does get the last hit. Down they go. That was a fully upgraded tactical marine squad if you discount the stone god upgrade. Huge loss for the SRA. That's what happens though. He even started moving. He knew that the Banshees were coming in. But just got jumped on and retreated while he was knocked down. Which was just painful. Assault marines might wipe as well. This is going to be crazy. Bang. Down they go. Wow. In the space of about 20 seconds, the SRA loses half of his army. 192, 281. Howling Banshee is running riot in this game. Level 4. Just really hasn't done enough to counter them. Should have got double shotgun scouts, I think. And I haven't seen his Purification Rights heal come into play very much. And I haven't seen most of the strike used very well. And well, now it's not going to be used because they're dead. 192281. He is tier 3, so he could see some Terminators. Does he want to get Terminators with level 4 handling Banshees around? A Predator tank would be the wise choice here, but he's not getting one and he could get one, so I'm not sure what he's waiting for. He's going for Terminators, isn't he? It's the wrong choice. Here they are. Bolt pistol, sorry, storm bolters and power fists have super heavy infantry armor, and with those level four banshees that all talk, that farce here with guide, they are going to be ripped to shreds. I think you'll see how they do here. He's ignoring them at the moment, which is a big mistake. Trying to take down this generator. Here come the banshees. They need a spirit stone's heal, and there it is. Look at the damage the terminators are taking. There is a purification rights heal. Attacking with their power fists, which are powerful weapons, but they are slow hitting. And there's only three models to hit them with. To hit with them. 192233. There's the triple cap for Comrade leaving the Terminators alone there. And look at this now, as if he needed any more reason to not get Terminators. We have a Seer Council on the field, very, very powerful power melee squad that also provide buffs. Two surrounding units, so those Banshees are going to be buffed by the Autoc and that Seer Council. I think they provide a energy regen buff and maybe some other stuff. 192, 199. Dire Avengers letting the last cannon devastators just leave, and they're trying to decap. Are they? Or are they going to hit power? No, nope, they're on capping duty, it looks like. Dire Avengers also on capping duty. Very bizarre that he let them pass, I think. Here comes the Autoc, though. Are oh, they going to be able to decap here? There's that passive leap from the Autark knocking down a model 180, 195 and forces them off. Is he going to wipe them out here? As it's a huge melee blob. If you can get a land raider, if you can hold on for a land raider, ouch, down go the Devastators. He just has scouts and terminators. Surely this is all over for DSRA. Does have a double cap though, has his natural. And has the middle, but perhaps not for long. Here comes Comrade Grumpy 
going after these Terminators, the Autop putting their shield up. There's a shotgun blast. Is it going to be enough though? Seer Council now in this fight. There's a Spirit Stone's heal. And Terminator's getting ripped to shreds. There is Angels of Death reducing damage by 50%. But look at the damage still. Terminator's teleporting out. Not teleporting towards the base though. There's no way they're going to outrun these Banshees and this Autark and this Seer Council. Seer Council also start with Fleet. And down they go. It was just really really was the wrong choice to get terminators in this matchup at that point with these banshees kicking serious ass left and right here is the predator tank which we should have seen earlier if you got double predator tanks instead of those terminators would have been in a much better position i suppose he would have been in a much better position if he didn't lose two tactical marine squads and assault marines lots of what ifs but this seems to be comrade grumpy's game has an avatar of kane on the way Double cap, you must say that DSRA has hung on to a decent amount of VPs despite all the setbacks he's had. And Comrade Grumpy is in fact down in VPs right now, but he has the triple and huge field presence advantage. Shotgun scouts forcing melee on Dire Avengers. Nice grenade. And scouts get away with two models. Got the carry capping mid. Lots of pressure down this western flank by Comrade Grumpy. 112, 126 is a double cap. Here is the Predator tank. Auto cannon on top. Heavy bolters on the sponsors. Can get a twin nick Laz cannon, but I don't think he wants to do that. Here comes the Avatar. And here come Banshees with that heavy melee execution of Spear. Can they get some rear armies? Look at the health flying down already. I do not see guide on any of these guys yet. I think she's put it on herself, in fact, the Farseer. Predator's gonna go down. That singing spear making short work alongside those Banshees. 112-99, nothing the SRA goes for is gonna work at this point. What can I build, he says. After losing everything, there's nothing much you can build, my friend. 112-91, two to one cap for blue team the terminators were the seriously the wrong choice maybe if he had access to assault terminators with claws would have been very different but as an apothecary he does not and there is the concede in fact by DSRA Conrade takes it very very competent performance from him DSRA making mistakes but Conrade was there to capitalize and he did use his banshees very well alongside that far CF. thank you for watching guys hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time